This episode is sponsored by Wacom, Wacom Wacom.com. As a reminder, one lucky artist who participated in this episode will receive a Wacom Cintiq Pro 13, and that's pretty damn cool. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Face the Truth. My next guest is not only an amazing artist and a good friend of mine, but he's also a very important person to me personally. Back when I was getting started in my venture towards being an illustrator, I had no idea what I was doing or where to go. All I knew is that I wanted to draw and paint people and specifically caricatures, and I wanted to be published. I wanted to be in the magazines. I wanted to be in books. Um, and basically anything that people would pay me for (laughs) to do, you know, I just really wanted it so bad. And there were a handful of artists that really were influenced me at the time. Um, Ishmael Rolden, who passed away, um, in 2009, which I I think I'm going to do a tribute podcast to him at some point because he was also a very important person to me, but also, um, artists like Roberto Parada, CF Payne. My good friend Fred Harper, and of course Tom Fluharty. There were artists that I would basically I would go to bookstores uh, back when there was a lot of bookstores, and I would look through the magazine sections, and I would find, you know, I'd flip through and I'd find um, all the publications, you know, artists like Steve Brodner and and um, Philip Burke and and the rest that I already mentioned. I would just flip through and I would find this work. And I would buy the magazine and just tear the sheet out. And my studio at the time kind of looked like a serial killer's lair. I would have all these images that inspired me taped to my wall. And I would have like certain things circled with a red marker. And I would have post-it notes next to certain pieces, you know, you know, and like little notes like notice the fold in the clothing that Mort Drucker did. And and same with Tom Fluharty. Um, I would collect tons of weekly standard covers. And, you know, to be honest, at the time, I I really didn't care about politics. I wasn't for either side, Republican or Democrat, just like I'm not today. Uh, I don't pick a side. I think they're both cuckoo. But anyways, uh, I just loved it for the art. And, you know, James Bennett as well. Um, A lot of these artists, Darren Gigi, I don't know if I said his name right, but a lot of these artists that were doing covers on a regular basis, I was just collecting it. And Tom was one of those artists that I, uh, you know, I had stacks of his covers. And I was really, really influenced by his, not only his caricaturing, but his, um, just his handling of rendering, lighting, shadow, ed- soft edges and, and values and that sort of thing. And so um, I was, you know, self-taught and I was trying to teach myself at the time how to render, how to draw. Um, you know, I, actually, to be honest, the drawing part I was doing fairly well at um, the likenesses and that sort of a thing but I didn't understand the painting part and it was really stressful and overwhelming for me you know there's a lot of things really to be honest (laughs) it was at the beginning stages of trying to figure out how to be an illustrator and what ended up happening was I ended up um, I couldn't find Tom Fluharty anywhere online Um, like a a personal contact Um, all I could find was his agent's site at the time and there was no Facebook at the time. There was no Instagram. There was none of these ways to get a hold of someone or send them a, a DM or anything like that. <laughs> that shit did not exist. So I contacted his agent and I just basically wrote her and I said, hey, uh, I'm a really big fan of your one of your artists that you represent, Tom Fluharty, and I really love his work. I'm trying to do this myself. And I just, I would really love to just send him a message and show him some of my work and just you know, see what he has to say, you know, she wrote me back and she said, um, um, thank you for your letter. I'll pass that along to Tom. So I don't get like a real email back from Tom, but what I got was a message from Tom saying, Jason, call me and his number, (laughs) he left his number. And I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting to have to call someone and talk. I was, I was kind of timid and nervous, if you can believe it at that time. And I was afraid to talk on the phone. I was, um, you know, I wasn't very confident at the time, but I sucked it up and I was like, man, this is <laughs> this artist that I really respect just told me to call him. So I called him 
and we were on the phone for at least two hours. Uh, he was that gracious. Um, and he, you know, he didn't even see my work yet. I don't think not at that point. Um, he just was really passionate, um, as he is now. And he has a really good heart. And he, we just talked about art. We talked about drawing. We talked about, he asked me what my goals were and, and what I wanted to do and that sort of a thing. So, um, shortly after, um, our conversation, you know, I was really inspired and everything. Um, I started sending my work to him and he would respond, you know, he would take the time to write me and, uh, critique my, my drawings and my early paintings. And he was very encouraging, but he was, he was also also saying things like, Hey, you know, you should look at, you know, softening some edges here and there. Um, and he kind of pointed certain things out that I was like, Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm getting it. Yeah. He would, he would, uh, say things about my exaggeration, like maybe try to pull back a little bit because at the time I was really kind of, you know, Sebastian Kruger, um, was a big influence on me. And, um, I was, I, I was under the influence of a caricature is only a caricature if you exaggerate a lot. And, you know, there's people out there that's kind of controversial. A lot of people, you know, agree with that. Um, I've, I've since then changed my perspective considering the fact that I've been doing illustration for publications for 16, 17 years now. And, you know, I can tell you right now that a lot of exaggeration isn't going to uh, go well for publication. Um, and Ishmael Roland taught me that as well, that it, it, there's a, there's a, there's a good amount of exaggeration that you can get away with, but you still have to, you know, immediately know who the person is and most importantly, capture their character, their essence, the feeling of the person and that sort of a thing. And that's really what I learned from Ishmael and from Tom. And so I would just go back and forth and, uh, I would, I would do a, a drawing or a painting and I would send it to Tom and he would look at it and he'd say, Oh man, this is killer. And just, just him encouraging me was enough for me to keep going. Cause I didn't, I didn't have school at the time. Um, I, you know, and I didn't have an online, uh, you know, artist, artist community, like what we have now, um, with Facebook and, and different things, Instagram. So the encouragement really went a long way. And so I can't thank, um, Tom enough. He's been a really good friend. Um, I've known him for at least 16 or 17 years now. And uh, we even went to New York once. He uh, introduced me to his agent who signed me. He's been a really important uh, part of my, my life, an important part of my art, my art career. But basically, um, Tom is a really awesome guy. He's an amazing artist. He's you know, always pushing himself. And you know, he's very inspirational to a lot of people. And that's because he's got such a drive and such a passion. So it gives me great pleasure to welcome my friend, my pal, Mr. Tom Fluharty. Cool. Okay. We're rolling. Awesome. All right. Mr. Tom Fluharty. <laughs> this is awesome, man. Um, so, I agree. you know what? Just r- right off the bat, I got to say, just so everybody knows, this is um, the first time out of any of the podcasts I've done so far with any of my guests where I've gotten just an overload of submissions of people uh, that did drawings of you. But uh, on top of that, I'm going to, I'm going to apologize straight from the start here. There were many people that sent questions and unfortunately I had over 90, maybe close to 95 hmm. and, and, I, and it just got too much for me to go through. I couldn't yeah. go through and read all the questions and it just it just was way right. too much you know so i apologize yeah, yeah. in advance but i'm pretty sure you and i will cover a ton of things and i'm sure we'll answer people's questions um sure. just by talking about art and whatever what we do so yeah. <laughs> so i apologize no, in advance awesome. but there's too many questions um uh, too cool. many too many people love tom uh and uh thank you and uh, i couldn't i couldn't do it all <laughs> But um, anyways, uh, thanks for doing this, man. This is really cool. Oh, uh, dude, dude, it's my honor, man. I'm a huge fan of you, obviously. So nah, it's awesome. No, I am, dude. <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. But totally like, yeah, right. I mean, it's really cool because you and I have been friends for a long time, and um, we were talking about this the other day. Like, uh, yeah. uh, I, I, I feel it's kind of funny because, you know, when when I first met you. There was no Facebook. There was no like real social media thing going on. Right. And I was a desperate, hungry artist who mm-hmm. I just 
wanted so badly to do what you were doing and right. and and I believed in myself and I, I but and I was just trying to like reach out to artists like I you know um mm -hmm. I, I reached out to people like CF Payne um right. Ishmael Roland um Roberta Prada you you know my friend Fred Harper um, yeah. So there's a bunch of there's a there's a group of guys that when you're one of, one of them obviously who like took me under your wing so to speak mm -hmm. and uh, right. so I will always be grateful for that because basically you had no way to get a hold of you back then um, and mm -hmm. I, I contacted your agent um, sorry mm -hmm. who eventually yeah, yeah. became my agent uh, right. th thanks to you <laughs> yeah and um, so I sent her a message just basically saying hey there's this, this artist that you represent. I'm like a huge fan of his work and I'm trying to get a hold of him. I just really want to ask him some questions. Cool. And then all of a sudden, um, I got an email from you saying, Hey Jason, yeah. call me. And I was like, call you. Like, like <laughs> that's, that's, that's scary. Like I, it? like I'm like uh, a big fan and all, but I was like, you know what? I got to suck great. it up. And so I called you and we talked on the phone yeah. for a, a couple hours and you had just done this cover right. with Abraham Lincoln, um, for the weekly standard. He's like laying on a couch right. or something. <laughs> and right. I was just asking you, like how you know how did you paint that how did you know um, right, right. I, I was just learning how to paint basically it was like 16 years ago or something like that that's um, crazy that's crazy. and so you you were one of those wow. guys who we became friends and i would send you my drawings and you would look at them and you would say hey man yeah. this is cool uh, maybe you could work on the hands a little bit more or something or you know and, right and so I, I really i took everything to heart what you were saying and, that's awesome um and then uh what, what's funny about it is I felt like you were my personal Tom Fluharty, you know, yeah. and now yeah. you've, you've, you've like with social media, of course, now mm -hmm. I feel like I have to share you with everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I don't know how I feel about that. Um, That's but, all right. Uh, but, Thank uh, you. Yeah. But anyways, I appreciate that because you, you were really and then we went to New York together, which was awesome. Right. And Crazy. Uh, and uh, you introduced me to your agent and she ended up signing me. And um, so. Yeah, you were very instrumental in my my beginnings of my illustration career, and then uh, of course, I got to work for the Weekly Standard and yeah. back and forth covers with you. So, to me, right, right, it's like right. you know, it's it's it's. I felt like I graduated and became part of the the big boys, you know. <laughs> right, right. So, well, you had the goods. You you totally had the goods when you called me. I mean. Uh, you know, like I think you're well, there, there's a lot of people. So so Kruger sort of defined caricature uh, at the top. And when you contacted me, uh, I, I yeah. looked at your work. But but I I just told you to shut the Kruger book yeah. and be yourself. <laughs> yeah. And I think that's what we have to do is we have to like, you know, like when I first started doing caricature, I had everybody out with that was great on my desktop. And I looked at it. And yep. I drew, you know. <laughs> And then, like, uh, I mean, honestly, caricature took me. I started in the uh, ninety three, and by two thousand and four, I think I uh, it took me about nine or ten years to really understand it, really. And uh, mm -hmm. I, I'm not saying figure it out because I'm still doing it, but I have figured out who I am. But it took me like nine years. But it's every day doing it. I was doing it for you know all these different magazines and stuff, but. Um, so so it takes a long time. So when you contacted me, um, I, I, I felt like, wow, you, you were really solid. And I just said recommended that, you know, when I looked at certain things, I felt like uh, everybody was looking at Kruger's work and yeah. all respect to Kruger for sure. I love him. He's a good guy and he's a great, amazing artist. But when we shut those books after a while and we just do our own thing, uh, you actually kept getting better with every piece. And the other thing about you, uh, oh, the, well, there's two things. Well, so, so that humility to reach out and acknowledge somebody that's doing something, that's how we grow. We, we, we reach out, we become vulnerable. We don't try yeah. to stay in our own world, act like we got it together because I don't have it together. So I study with great people as well. So it's just that kind of thing. You shut the books and then and then you were like and you were in uh, I don't know second year of uh, of school, and you were like, man, I don't yeah. know if I should finish get my degree. And uh, you, I was like, well, look, <laughs> you're already getting work. You're already like time. I think time had called you at that point. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, dude, you're already getting work. What do you need <laughs> your degree for? Blah blah blah. But basically, you you did. I think you quit. And then yeah, and then right after just that trip, I went to New York with you, 
And yeah, and we went to New York. Yeah, right. and uh, and we had a great time. Went to Society of Illustrators, and uh, we went to right. the art museum together, and everything. And you had yeah. told me, I don't know why you're going to art school. And then, uh, and then when I went to the Society of Illustrators, I met um, a bunch of like, you know, artists that I admired, and a, a couple art directors right. and different people. And they're all like, Why are you going to art school? <laughs> Everybody was yeah. telling me that. And so I had I had a lot to think about in my flight home. And and uh, when I, I went into school uh, the next week, and I was like, This uh, this is my last semester. I'm finishing and I'm done. Wow. And that was it. And then I just started yeah, working. Yeah. You know. Yeah. That's um, awesome. Yeah. And no, I mean, and then um. You know, I mean, just you, you keep getting better still. You, you've gotten better every, every year, every, every week, um, especially your digital work. Um, I mean, I think it's safe to say, I mean, I feel like you're one of the best digital uh, painters in the world. Oh, and I'm not I trying don't. to stroke you. Uh, no, I'm not trying to stroke you. W- what I'm trying to get at is um, being great is, uh, is, is, is a level of excellence, but you don't just wake up and you're great. You, you have to keep pressing in and, mm-hmm. and, 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 and growing and studying and being hungry. And, and yeah, exactly. you know, so, so anyways, I'm just simply saying like, um, I, I really love your digital paintings that, and, and like, but like you, you say the same thing. Um, when digital first came out, it sucked because it looked like bad airbrush mm-hmm. and it looked just lame, but yeah. you took it took it to a level that sort of defined it and sort of set it on, on, on its, on its, on its right up, you know, upside, right. And it was like, this is actual digital painting and everything else was lame at the, at that time. So, you know, it, it, I mean, hats off to you, man. That, that's cool that you did that. Cause I, I know I would, I would study and I would look at your digital paintings and stuff and I'd be like, wow, that's super cool. Just what you were hmm. doing. So, um, oh, I appreciate that, it's, man. It's super cool. Yeah. It's yeah, super I mean, cool. It, it's weird because I think at that time, um, it was so new, and so I was kind of learning as it was coming out, you know. So it, it's that's kind of a strange thing. Right. It's it's sort of uh, it was like an experiment in a way, because um, yeah. at first I didn't really respect or like digital art, but I, I right. was getting, I was giving it a chance because deadlines were becoming stressful, and so yeah. I was you know trying to figure it out. But right. but yeah, right. I mean, it's even even now though that like what you're saying it makes a lot of sense. It's like even I think part of my personal uh, like approach to art and what, mm-hmm. what I do is, I, I don't, I, I don't feel like I have anything figured out. I feel like I still, right. like every single piece that I do, I'm like, oh, there's, there's always something that just annoys me and bothers me. Yeah, especially totally. on on quick deadlines. Um, right. Like right. I did, I did a quick deadline yesterday. It was a one day yeah. job. Um, and me Phil, too. Philip asked me to do, and right. it, it was the same thing. <laughs> I did. I did. I did a one day. Actually, it was less than one day. I got the call Wednesday night when I was at painting class, and uh, it was like I, I came home. I got home about eleven and started at eleven and worked till three, and then I got up in the morning and finished by two. Oh, that's funny. So it was just like I, did, I mean, it was crazy. He, caught, yeah, he contacted me around eleven at night, yeah. um, and um, and I I was like yeah yeah yeah, and I, I went to bed. Uh, my my mother in law is staying here. She f- slipped on ice, and broke her both her wrists, uh, and so cool. my wife's been like taking care of her. Um, mm. And so we've been like really crazy busy around here. We got the baby, and right. she's taking care yep. of her mom. Totally, and totally. I woke up yesterday morning, f- totally uh-huh. forgot that I was supposed to do a job, uh-huh. and then I I drove my kids to school. Oh and, no! And on my way to driving the kids to school, I'm like. Oh my gosh! Oh my I, I said, uh, yeah. so I, I didn't even know. I didn't yeah. even. And Philip's like, did you understand um, uh, the what I asked? And I was like, uh, right. I haven't even opened the email yet, so I didn't even know what right, I was right, going to be drawing. Right, right, right. Oh so my I got gosh. back yesterday, and I'm yeah. like, it was like two Mickey Mouse hands um, holding Oscars. Um, yeah, I saw it. And I was yeah, just like, awesome. you know, oh gosh, it's a pretty simple idea. That's right. why I was able to do it in like six hours or whatever. Right. Um, except for the Oscar thing t- was a killer. Yeah, like, right. It's I got reflective too, stuff. It's yeah, crazy. that was a little bit. I thought it was yeah. going to be way simpler, but then I got carried away. But, uh, you know, anyways, yeah, that's crazy. That's that's what the illustration's like. I mean, it's it's so that's why I started, you know, because originally I was doing everything in acrylics. Right, me and, too. And you're, all, you're also um, the one who, when I was um, teaching myself how to paint with acrylics, you're the one that talked me into um, – Getting the the thing with the sponge in it and the, the acrylic paper and yeah you, the master yeah palette. yeah exactly right. and you you were t- explaining to me how to use that yeah um and so I started using that because I before that I was doing everything like 
you know, on paper plates, and then the acrylic would just right, dry up. Right, and right, yeah. Forget it. Forget that. But now I, I don't even mess with acrylic anymore. I can't stand it. Right. Um, me neither. So I annoying. haven't painted in acrylics in it's annoying. 16 years. <laughs> May, actually, 19 years now I haven't painted in. That's insane to think how fast time goes. Oh, it is insane. Yeah. So so you, you, you're, like, doing so many things. It's crazy. Um, and, and it's funny. I kind of not really make fun of, but... I've, I've joked a few times on my podcast so far with how many people are sending in indigo blue drawings. <laughs> yeah. yeah right. It's like, it's like, and then, and then like, even like with some of the submissions, of course, that people did of you, you're going to see a lot right. of indigo blue. Um, right. but I think it's so cool because, um, ever since I've known you, you keep reinventing yourself over and over. And I think that's huh. what we're supposed to do oh. as artists, you know, that's like, awesome. like even like, like I remember this is a specific, this is really funny. I remember, um, basically there was a time that I was basically doing a, a, a spot illustration for the weekly standard every week. Um, yeah. it was like the front log thing and right. you were doing most of the covers and Gary, and I would get a cover maybe every four or five months I'd get a cover. Right. Um, and I was always waiting for that cover call, you know, right, right, <laughs> but, right, I was, right. but I was so happy with the spot illustration. So every week sure. I was getting one and it was like, it was, it was a challenge. It was, it was like almost yeah. a schooling in a way because it was yeah. the first time when like Philip trusted me and he's like, yeah, you got two days to do this full on illustration. Right. So it was right. really great because I got, had to just, I had to just do it, you know, cause I wasn't used to doing yeah. that quick of illustrations. Right. So right. I started to learn how to paint even faster digitally and everything. Um, right. but I remember at that time you were doing, um, you were really, you know, originally you were doing acrylic covers for them years, years ago. Yeah. Right, right, right. 98. Um, yeah. Like 98. I love that one, by the way, um, with, uh, Bart Simpson, the guy sitting in the chair. Oh, yeah, uh, that yeah. is one of my favorite illustrations uh, ever. I mean, thank I, you. I look oh, at, thank I you. That's so cool. Yeah. You sent me like a high res version of it years ago and I look at all that right. all the time. I just love the, you, cause you caricature everything. And that's one thing that I, I want to yeah. try to do even more of and be better at right, because right. you don't just, you know, like even even the the, the cups and the, the everything has got some character <laughs> right. to it. You know, and that's that's really yeah. amazing. That's cool. Um, that's cool. But then then you start you started getting really into the oil painting, and you started reinventing right. yourself again. And all of a sudden, you right. know, you got really into the Dutch Flemish thing, and you were you were taking right. classes with some this this guy, yeah. and, and all of a sudden right. your, your weekly standard covers started becoming these like oil paintings that were awesome. Right. Um, right. I think. And then I remember there was a period of time where I started getting more covers and and the weekly standard the deadline started getting like shorter um they mm. I think they changed the 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 turnaround time or something yeah and you right. were doing less because you're you're it was, you were doing the oils and yeah. then all of a sudden I right. remember the first time it was like um McCain and um and um uh what's her name oh oh Palin uh, Palin and yeah, we, it yeah. was like every week we were drawing them or yeah. Obama or something. Right. And, totally. and all of a sudden you do like your first digital and you're like, I'm going to give right. digital a try. And all of a sudden, right, boom, right, right. you just, now you're, you're reinventing yourself and becoming a digital and, and even your digital work has like a specific look to it because of your knowledge of oil painting. Right. Um, I can see like you have like this, this, you've got like a palette of colors that you're attracted to. You're, you're yeah. really into like a yellow ochre kind of skin tones in certain areas. And right, um, right. so like, I see that stuff. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, <laughs> right, so like, right, right, right. I'll notice like how you'll, you'll yellow like the, the foreheads or different things. And, and, uh, but, right. but all of a sudden I'm like, Oh, now Tom's like killing it digitally. There you go. <laughs> and then, um, no, I, yeah, yeah, I mean, no, it took me a long time to figure out digital. I, I, I actually, I don't even like digital to be honest. Yeah. I do it and I, and I, I don't really treat it seriously, but I am trying and studying it, but I don't, I don't, I don't wake up and go, man, I can't wait to do a painting digitally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never explore. I just, it's just a tool, right? It's like, but you, but use anyways, it what I'm getting at is it painter. took me a while. Yeah. I totally use it, but I paint with it. I don't, yeah, that's I don't what I'm saying. It do anything i paint with it so i'm approaching it the same mentality yeah but yep. it's kind of cool but it's like um you still it, use it a took tablet me a right? while. It, yeah I, I have a cintiq oh you do you have know, a cintiq right okay. yeah okay so okay. a 27 inch you know HD. Oh. but basically it took me a That's while to is. really <laughs> like them it took me a while to like my digital yeah so it's okay though you know 
it's like is a learning curve. Yeah. Uh, regardless of where you are, you just have to do something every day. So, mm-hmm. but thank you for you know the compliments on the digital. But I, I like them now. I didn't like them well, at, at, and, you know back then. And what I mean though is um is is just that the. I, what I'm, my whole point is just that you're, I, I've always noticed that you you reinvent yourself. Um, uh, you know, you 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 know. I really want to do children's books, and then you just start doing children's okay. books, and they're and they're just awesome. Um, okay. And then and then all of a sudden, you're like, hey man, it's really cool looking. Uh, it, I love drawing with blue, this blue pencil. It's just really cool, and you, you right. just explore <laughs> the hell out of it. And right. and it's like, and then and then within your you're exploring drawing with the indigo blue you're like you do like these separate you get like obsessed with um cowboys with only one eye or something and you just draw like right, hundreds right, of them right. and, and um and it's awesome it's called distraction it's called distraction <laughs> is what it's called it's called i don't know what it's called but it's a fascination I, yeah I'm, I'm so i have like ten thousand pictures on my phone no exaggeration 10,500. And I flip them through them yesterday and I'm like, oh, I want to draw that. Oh, I want to draw that. Oh, I want to draw that. And I'm like, I have, <laughs> and I'm just like, like, I'm like, I'm frothing at the mouth and I yeah. have to remember that life is more important than drawing. Yeah. But it isn't. I'm just saying. I'm, but, and that's, that's the one thing that I really love about you and your work is that you, you, you have a very, a, a passion for, for drawing yeah, and, that. and your drawings are just awesome. I mean, I love your paintings. Funny. But your 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 drawings have there's so much energy and and uh, and life to them. Um, it's really it's really awesome. I just love your your technique. Um, yeah, and that last book that you did was really cool. Um, Thanks. Uh, the one with uh, Stan Stan Lee on it. Um, wait, is that, is oh, that 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 was the first one? Oh, that that's was the called first Art, one. Art of the Sketch. The, what was the, the second, second one? one is, uh, second one is called The Joy of Drawing. It's got the oh, uh, yeah, fat yeah, yeah. lady. Oh yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, well, that's I. I, I yeah, for some thanks. reason, I thought that was the first one. I'm getting them confused now. Nah. Um, but yeah, I love I love flipping through them. It's awesome. Um, thanks. You know, are you? I mean, you've been doing a lot of uh, like kind of like cowboy looking things lately. It seems like, um, or, or, or I've seen a few like, like the one you did. You posted one today with a girl with a hat. Oh yeah, um, yeah. That's not so much a cowboy. Uh, that's just uh, that's a that's The Walking Dead. I don't know if you watch. Oh the yeah, Walking yeah. That's from The Walking Dead. Oh, my goodness, yeah. That's just a little girl named Judith Grimes. It's Rick yeah. Grimes' daughter. Oh, that's oh, awesome. Oh, she's so cute. I didn't, so. I didn't realize that's who it was. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I probably missed. But I just did it as a as a devotion. Like, well, uh, it's like a cool a, looking a, drawing, though. I love the I love just the. Um, I th- I thought the way that you handled the eyes and and, and that whole area was like really soft really nice yeah, right. Yeah, right. like like even with the, the indigo stuff like you're you're continuing to develop uh your st- technique and styles and right it's, it's interesting it's interesting to see that so um yeah, yeah it is it's um i was talking to my painting teacher joe paquette who's a really a rock star and uh i, I was saying like man it's so it's like you can draw uh, but it's like the difficulty is because you become highly attuned to sensitivity. You become so sensitive or, or realizing that your drawing almost disqualifies itself because it's not it doesn't reach this level of what you feel is awesome. Mm-hmm. So it looks good and everything. But it's like this this idea of like, gosh, I missed. And it's just like this one miss of like, oh, the value got too dark there. I got too dark with that line and that cancels it out or something mm, and so yeah there's this sensitivity that is like um it's a fragile it's a fragile skill set almost like this sensitivity of being sensitive when you draw something or when you when you when you render something and it's just this it's just it's it's difficult so it becomes it for me it becomes way more difficult to create because i have this um um, this this level that I'm trying to create at, mm, mm-hmm. and it doesn't always <laughs> happen, or I do something that I think is great or really resonating, and then I put it up, and maybe it just I have to come back two hours later and look at it, and then I realize ah it sucks, yeah. whatever you know. But I'm saying this it's a whole exploration and a discovery of um, you know of just drawing. I mean I I find myself extremely I have basically fallen in love with drawing because um, I, I've I, I've drawn more than I've done anything. Yeah. And because uh, I did storyboards for 35 years, and that just taught me drawing uh, everything in any angle. So you're 
you're constructing a scene from the ground up. It's like, hey, this guy, these these four clowns are running out of this uh, FedEx truck dribbling a basketball in, in, in China. It's like, okay, so you draw that. And it's like, okay, then they run in this building. So there's all this drawing foundation of the last 35 years that uh, really – uh, in the last three brought me back to drawing and say, you know what, I'm going to develop as a painter. But what I love the most, what I'm more fascinated with is drawing. And so it's, it's me just, I, I, I'm just drawing and drawing and drawing. And so that's kind of been the focus. If you look at my feed, it's all drawing. And then the blue line is the same thing. I'm not yeah. trying to do anything. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just working out. I'm trying to create something that, you know what I mean? It just feels oh, right. Yeah. And so no, it's like, awesome. like it's like life. It gives me it gives me life as I create. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like you create, you get if you build that up and it just you just start you're on fire in one sense. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. No, I totally understand. And it's that's what's that's what I think is encouraging and I think it's, it's your drawings are inspiring a lot of people to to draw more, which is good. Awesome. And that's what that's cool. what's cool about it is, you know, it, that that's what I love about, you know, social media is in some ways is just Oh man, it, it, I can't stand it. Um, and it, right. and it, sometimes it's so tempting, you know, to like, you know, I'm I'm actually working on on myself to just stay away from things. Like, exactly. I don't want right. to do it anymore because it's it's totally. it's it's just a bummer. There's so much like negativity. Yeah. Right. But with all the ne negativity that that comes with it, the cool thing yeah. about everything is is stuff like this, stuff like artists. There now we're able to share. And and, exactly. and and you know give and receive and because uh, right. it, it this is a new era uh, this is it's it never is. been like it that is. you know right. and um and it, it's so it's so easily you know accessible now to like reach out to somebody and talk to somebody and and if you're not an right. asshole um you right. you respond to other people um cause, right. you know and and it's you know I get just as much out of um like I I make it a goal um I know you do this as well but I make it a goal to basically respond to every single person that that, that writes me or Absolutely. even lo likes my stuff or anything Absolutely. because that's, you know, you don't have to like go out of your way to like my artwork or, you right. know, um, but it's, a, it's such a cool time to be being an artist because there's just, Absolutely. I mean, like it's, I can, I can like, like I love Instagram. There's so many awesome artists on there. I and know. The, the problem is, is I just, I'll find this awesome artist and I'll just be looking at this stuff for way too long it's like there's, right, so, right, there's right. so much out there now it's just crazy yeah. it's like yeah. well, like when i was growing up um i was obsessed um I, I think i probably told you this before but my dad actually grounded me one time from drawing because it was too extreme um right he took me to the movies and i brought a sketch pad and started drawing while we we're at the movies and he was like no we're you got to take a break right, right, right. Awesome. um but I, I think about it if i was a kid the same kid, but now, oh my gosh, yeah. right? The, I, I can only imagine the kind of artist I would be now. You know what I mean? Yeah, right, because right. Same, same. Yeah. so much more opportunity for people now to like learn yeah. and see things like what we do at schoolism. Right. It's Everybody's the coolest thing. Approachable. Yeah. yeah. Everybody. Every, I mean, it, back. You know. I mean. You know. In the '80s, when I I got out of art school in '80 uh, '83, got a job in New York City drawing. Uh, storyboards for Gem Studio, and it was like, um, you know, you had to go to, you had to pick up a black book to see somebody's work, yeah. and you couldn't reach out to them. You never saw them. You, you, you <laughs> didn't know what people were doing. Now it's like people are creating. Yeah, people are creating. I mean, see, that's the beauty of life. The beauty of life is in politics. That 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 sucks the life yeah. out of you. What, what I'm trying to focus on is, I say, I want to stare at something beautiful. I want to I want to draw something beautiful. I'm like I'm like trying to be purposeful of focusing on beauty because that fuels my soul. Mm -hmm. You know, if you get in this crap with like and you're just <laughs> and yeah. you're just like suck. You just you just bring yourself down, you know? Yeah. It's like you just go look at a sunset. Go stare at the sky. I mean, I lived in New York City and I would walk like this for times. I'd be so down. Uh, uh, and I finally look up at the sky and go, "Ah, oh, yeah. So that's what that's what breaking from social media is. It's a it's a breath of fresh air. Go mm -hmm. look at a tree. Go look at a flower. Go look at a sunset. Look at a shadow. You know. Yeah. Uh, 
just see something beautiful and, and create from that, that realm. But basically, social media is super cool in that sense. That's the redemption of social media. And then it becomes a tricky thing where it's like, hey, stay off social media. It's like, uh, stay off for a day. Try to not go on for a day. <laughs> That's really tough. And it's like, what has happened? Yeah. What has happened? You know, happened? I saw this, um, you know, uh, I don't know if you ever listened to Joe Rogan, but I was I, the, the episode recently that he did with Elon Musk. It's very, you got to watch it. It's really entertaining. But, uh, but it's really funny because Elon Musk was talking about how there will, he's, he's afraid of AI. And he's he's quite sure that there is definitely going to be um, AI, and it's eventually going to be very dangerous. And we need to be very careful. And we need to be, you know, this is not a game. And yeah. and then he goes, "There's already cyborgs." Uh, and he said, and he goes, "And we're we're cyborgs. We're like the first version. We're like, you know, 1.1 1. 1 or whatever uh, cyborgs right. because we are so connected to our phone." Right. Um, we in, instantly, we, you know, we want to know something. We Google it. We ha, we right. have the answers. We know right. everything. We don't. Yeah. Our brain doesn't. But, but our 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 computer in our pocket is part of our brain now. It's it's yeah. it, you know, and we're becoming so connected with each other through you know we can right. you know it's it's just it's interesting when he started explaining it that way. I was like, right. wow, we kind of like are cyborgs. This is this yeah. is true. I mean, just like even, even yesterday, um, I did that. I did that uh, quick turnaround. But even though I did it um, yesterday, last night when, when they released, I, I shared it. Everyone in the world can see instantly right. Right, what, I, right. what I just spent all day working on. Right. It's just a right. weird time. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, I, it's like, like even you, like, uh, you live up in um, Minneapolis, right? Yeah. Uh, and, yeah. and you guys yeah, have tons of snow, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. My dad lives up in North Wisconsin. And, He's in Wisconsin, and, yeah. And he... You know, it's just I'm I'm just making a point of how this is such a strange time because you know you you can, you know, there's I, I okay let's put it this way I remember when email came out, I remember yeah. when the internet right. came out, and right. now it's like, right. my parents are like seven hours north of me, but yeah. I can see what their yard looks like. <laughs> Right. Totally. Absolutely. So it's, yeah. it's very interesting. <laughs> yeah. I, I did a post last week. I shared something that somebody had sent that I saw and it says when the, and it had a picture of an old phone with a, with a cable or a, yeah. a, 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 it says when the phone was tethered, when the phone was attached, people were free. Yeah. And that was, that's profound. When oh the, yeah. <laughs> when the phone had a, had a cable to it, attaching it to the wall, people were free. Yeah. And so it's really, I, I, I think about this a lot. This, this reflex that we have of, uh, oh, commercial, I'm going to grab my phone. Uh, oh, I'm going to the bathroom, I'm going to use the phone. Yeah. You know? Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna do, oh, I'm waiting, I'm going <clears> to <throat> use my phone. It's just like, what? We have become this, you know? And it's like, <laughs> it's like especially yeah. my daughter's generation that's 20, yeah. they've become this. And mm -hmm. so when we have to, when people have to put a post up saying, you know what, I'm jumping off social media, uh, I can't handle this, uh, I get it. But then somebody always says, yeah, good luck with that one. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and so it's like this crazy reality. Then as an artist, it, it kind of ruins the day when you just created um, for create creativity's sake, if that ever really existed. But you certainly weren't po drawing to post, drawing to post, drawing to post, drawing to post. And yeah. that's kind of messed with us a bit. And, and it's it's messed with me a bit as well. Like for sure. Like I have a lot of things I don't post on purpose. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, it's just crazy. So we put a filter on our lives, uh, shoot a selfie, you know, <laughs> I'll move the filter on, man. Oh, man, that looks awesome. So even, you know, whatever I put up, it's, it's, like, it's, it's like what I think is awesome. So I want to appear awesome. I don't want to appear vulnerable. And yeah. so that's probably what my post was today that maybe I missed and it's okay. But it's good to come oh, back. Oh, no, no. And say, I'm sure. I'm no, 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 no. No, what I'm getting at is oh. it's, it's okay it's okay. Like I have, a, I have another post that I'm going to do soon showing, um, just showing things that aren't up to par things that aren't, I, I, I did Marilyn the other day. Uh, I became fascinated with her, uh, Marilyn Monroe. Oh, okay. and I yep. just did, I did, I did a few drawings of her and the one looked really cool, but it was off, but I'm going to actually post it because I think, I think it's helpful to see failures or see mm -hmm. miss, 
you know, um, because we do. We live in a filtered age and you can you can Photoshop yourself. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Um, I, I actually got some flack from some people um, for my last book that I put out. I purposely put in old work um, in one part of the book and work that wasn't so good. But if you actually read that part of the book, I'm talking about right. what you're just saying is that it's important to show your humanity um, yes. and that you're a real person and that, you know, it, it's like, you know, my dad always told me, uh, you know, you got, you got to do like, you know, a thousand bad paintings before you start doing a good painting. Act. And, right. but in, in the, there's still some good stuff in there and it's good right. to see those, those crappy things. Cause right. if, you know, I'm, I'm a big believer in learning how, you know, learning how not to do something is just right. as beneficial, you know, right, like, right. like, well, like, uh, the light bulb thing, like how many times did, did, did Edison fail? Like it was like 500 exactly. times or something. Right. Well, right. Right. Guess right. what? If he would have gave up no lights, right. You know, totally right. So, right. Right. You know, it's, right. but I think that there's beauty in, in our mistakes. You know, I think there's, there's a lot, you know, you know, like, uh, there's things that you like, like for, for example, uh, I, that time cover that I, that I did recently with the tweets, um, that was that was a lot to try to do in the amount of time and i was really crazy. pressured because it was a time totally cover crazy. so i yeah. just felt like and, and you know we agreed on the final idea kind of in the 11th hour yeah and I, I would have had like five or six days to do it but instead i only had a couple so um i had to like you know do do it as quick as i could but then the thing that bothers me the most is I really wanted to do more with the, the little tweet birds, you right, know, right, right, um, right. I just didn't have the time anymore. Um, right. and, and it bothers me so much, yeah. but the yeah. one thing that I learned from that is that, cause I, I had this idea, like I wanted to like make them a little bit more like angry birds and I wanted yeah. to like make them a little bit more right. funnier, but then I think right. they actually wanted them to be more like the actual logo anyway. But, um, but I, I really, I did those, all of them in like, a half an hour or something like it was like really crazy yeah. sh quick it's crazy um yeah and i spent all my time painting folded paper <laughs> right right i know i know what gets your time but like the thing is is that um is is that from that i learned now like hey next time i do something for it doesn't matter what magazine i gotta like be better about managing my time and wh when i'm going to you know and i already I already do that anyway yeah. with a deadline because you have to be like okay i'm gonna give myself like i the way yeah. I, I don't know how you do it but i'm like okay i'm gonna give myself two hours to paint this dude's face mm -hmm. and then i need probably at least an hour or so to do the hands yeah because uh, the hands right. and the faces are really important i want to make sure those are really good um mm -hmm. the, the body with the jacket or whatever you can you can kind of simplify and suggest yeah. and stuff right so i right. i break the thing apart to you know yeah because it's right. all it's it's like a exactly. marathon you yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But you yeah, learned, no, when I did, you know, when I did, uh, so I, I literally had, I don't even know, I drew the, I drew just yesterday, I drew the sketch or the day before, Wednesday night. Yeah. I drew the sketch, came home, read the email, drew the sketch, um, and worked till three, and then got up at five, uh, at eight, and then uh, got down to my studio and worked till two thirty, and so from eight to two thirty, I just rendered this, and it's basically a donkey. And, a, and an elephant just completely drunk and they're, they're drinking they're drinking awesome. red ink they're basically drinking red ink yeah and so you know you have to design it first of all you have to design the piece you have yep. to you have to you know you have to create this image out of nothing and you have to gather some reference on elephants and so <laughs> so there's design that's going on mm -hmm. and then at, when i started rendering it i you know in the morning i realized okay so the first thing i how I simplified it for myself to get it done was I said, these are shapes. This isn't just an elephant. I can't get uh, um, distracted on the, on the folds and the wrinkles. I have to, I have to, uh, yeah, that's... create, uh, render this thing as, as a big massive round shape mm. and all these other objects, his head and his, his nose that goes over his chest and, and off to the side, that's a cylinder. And these things just are shapes and they have lighting hitting on them. So I, as I just, um, focused on simplifying rendering this mass of this elephant as uh, uh, with a light effect hitting on it then it, it took form it took it took shape pretty pretty easily pretty quickly 
Yeah. And then the details of like uh, the you know uh, the, the the wrinkles and and uh, and then doing you know then getting to the donkey. But it's the same thing. I'm like, okay, I've got this this elephant took me like two to three hours and all of a sudden it's one o'clock and i'm like i gotta get to that donkey in the next hour yeah <laughs> so uh so you know uh yeah i just uh I, I got to the donkey and got the donkey done and you know it's just that kind of a thing that just feels like ah uh, that's a, that's the nature of editorial yeah and well i think you know, this is it's, interesting it's for okay. people to hear that don't that don't do editorial and they you know because this is something that a lot of people don't they don't know you know because this is yeah. it's not just about doing a good drawing or painting but you're like like yesterday morning well, i like like i said i'm driving my kids to school and i'm like oh my gosh that's right i'm supposed right. to be yeah uh -huh. and then and i get yeah. home and and dude, i kid you not man i get in i'm like okay so this is going to be a fun simple one okay i got this i can do this in a day no problem i start working on the sketch i get the whole thing done and i've saved it okay and then all yeah. of a sudden I go to uh, to hit the rotate tool to rotate my reference a certain way, and my computer freezes. And I'm like, what? what's going on? So I'm trying to be patient, but uh, I'm like, right. oh, like, oh, it's going. So I finally, like, you know, whatever. I restart, I restart my computer. Right. I turn it back on. I my image, even though I had saved it several times, it oh, was no. gone. Oh, I don't know no. what happened. It was just gone. No. It had like that the first sucks. like couple lines, and that was it. So somehow. <laughs> My Photoshop had some kind of glitch, even though I saved, and it didn't oh, save God. anything. So I had to start no. all over again. Like, oh, from my the, goodness. The, not cool. And I, yeah. wrote, I wrote Philip. I'm like, dude, I'm sorry. It's taking a while for me to get the sketch, but I had, I'm doing it for the second time now. Uh, the second time came out crazy. better because I had to go quicker and everything. Right. But Wow. But it's so annoying because those kind of crazy. things happen. You know. Um, yeah. I remember one time years ago, um, I did this piece for Sports Illustrated. Um, I think a golf issue or something like that. And I did Tiger Woods, um, and you're 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 at, from the ball's perspective, looking up at Tiger Woods. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And um, yeah. and there's a and so so that was kind of interesting to draw that perspective. And right. Um, and then you got yeah. these other guys in the background, and I was so proud of it. Like I was like rendering the the crap out of it, and it's looking really really good. And the art director wanted to see an update. So I'm like, okay, oh, no. cool. So yeah. I, I, I shrunk it down to like JPEG size um, yeah. and I saved it. Uh, no. I didn't realize I saved it um, oh, that, my that gosh. way. And then I sent it to him. And oh, then I no. go to open it to start working on it and it's a yeah. small JPEG. And yeah. I'm like, yeah. no. <laughs> so I like, and, I, and it was due at that day. So, mm -hmm. what, yeah, I, cool. so what I did was I blew, it, I blew it back up and it, mm -hmm. it looked look like crap pixelated yeah and i had to re go over the whole thing that is not paint cool. over the whole yeah. thing again not oh. cool yeah yeah yeah. no i mean i i'm working on something and i like go i just want to make sure this is 300 so i go apple shift command i i'm like yep yeah, it's 300 yep it's 300 <laughs> because the worst thing would do be do 72 the whole time the whole, oh, whole job no. do when you hand Dude, in 72. another PC thing up. that happened with uh cool. i did with the wall street journal once um i was so annoyed i did um I painted these four women. It was a crazy deadline. They they called me. It was due the next morning, and I, so I actually worked all through the night. Mm -hmm. um, and they were nervous. Is he really going to get this thing done on time? Right. Um, and I was like, Hey, you guys called me at the last minute and asked me to do an illustration. Right. I said I was going to do it. I'm doing it. Right. So at one right. point they asked me to send an update. They kept saying, yeah. Can we have an update? So I sent an update, but only one person was painted. The rest were sketchy and sort of yeah. blocked in. And, and they were like, they're like, okay, this is looking good. Continue. So I mm -hmm. worked all through the night, no sleep, yeah. rendered right. all these, these, these four women, painted them. I'm very happy with it. Turned out really cool. Then I go to, a, to, to Milwaukee to visit my dad um, yeah. at some art show thing. Yeah. And like, it was so weird. I go into this yeah. store in the Wall Street Journal's there. And I, yeah. I mean, like hours yeah. before right, right, right. I finished. Yeah, right, right. And I look at it, yeah. and they printed the sketch version that I did that I sent oh, them 9 no. o'clock the night before where it was just partially painted and some sketch lines. Oh, oh, they, no, they, no. they chose the wrong file. And I, and I worked all night on that thing. <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah, that, that's editorial, man. Oh. Uh, editorial. I don't know. I, I, uh, editorial, it's, 
it's it's it, it, it's cool, but there, there's a lot of editorial that that just like. And do, I mean, I yeah. Do you have any nightmare editorial. stories like that? Uh, I mean, I have. I mean, edit. Well, look, I have. I have a nightmare story that's actually a good thing that I learned on. I did a. <laughs> I did a. I did a job for uh, Bloomberg magazine. Oh yeah. And uh, it was like uh, Berlusconi, I think, is dude from France. He's like, I don't know, if, I don't know who he is from France. Berlusconi, and um, and so I had done, a, I did a few jobs for uh, uh, Bloomberg. And at one point, I did this one job, and the art director made me make a change on it. And I don't make complaints. I don't complain when I have to do changes because I, I, I. I, I do uh, I've done storyboards for 35 years and yeah. that's the big ball breaker in the world so that sort of put me in a place where I just don't complain I just do it but for some reason I didn't respond well and <laughs> after that job she never called me again ever and I never got another job out of her and I think I, I was I was aware that when I had said something to her with the um, sort of like this tone that I had that it was communicated that Tom Fluharty is a butthole <laughs> and I never got I never got work again from her but I learned from that and I yeah. said you know what I might be ticked off but um, I'm going to serve them and I'm going to give them what they want and if they're really a big idiot I will never work for them again but that's super rare most people are super cool um, but that was something I learned from is to to um, never let them see you sweat do the job be a pro yeah. Make changes uh, because sure. it hurt me. It hurt me. I mean, that I never got a job from them, and she probably she knows people. So, so her to this day, she's probably like Tom Fluharty is an arrogant idiot, yeah. and that's her. That's her perception. Yeah, and the, and, and the art directing world small, small that. world. You know, yeah, everybody knows so, everybody. So that was good for me. That was good for me to learn, and um, I try to I try to deal with people regardless of how tired I am, but. You know that that was my biggest nightmare was basically being an idiot for a moment. You know, dude, I, I have a weird thing that happened with Bloomberg Market. Um, I, w I I went to their offices. They they wanted to see me, meet me, and yeah. this is back when I had like a portfolio book. You know, and what's that? huh? What's, <laughs> what's that? that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> non digital. It's actual prints. Of your work, you know, and you open it up on their desk. Yes, exactly. and, and they have to clear and their desk off. When I went there, it's like it's like this uh, uh, futuristic, almost like Minority Report looking building with all these glass walls and, right. very, you know, and they they bring me into this room and there was twelve art directors, and they were like, mm -hmm. um, "Okay, present your book." I'm like, "Okay," and I never had done yeah. it that way before, so I'm like right. going through right. showing my work, and they said to me, um, "Okay, you know, a lot of." A lot of artists find it very difficult to work with us. Like if we give you like, um, you know, a certain assignment, but we need you to, we don't really have good reference. Can you still do a painting based off a bad reference? Or mm -hmm. um, like sometimes we have, um, uh, we only have like a side profile of someone, but we want to paint them looking forward. Um, a lot of artists have a hard time with that. Could, do you think you could do that? In my head, I'm like, are you crazy? Right. But I'm, right. Like, but I'm like so desperate to, you know, I want the job. I want to work with them. Right. So I was, right. like, I was like, yeah, I can do that. So that, so they're like, okay, great. We got we actually have two portraits we need you to do, um, and they gave me side profiles, and I had not, to, to paint not, not, not. two people yeah. from the front, like make up what their face right. looked like. No way. Yeah. And I did the best I could, and wow. I, I never heard from them again. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, that's you the can't only do thing. that. Look, look. <laughs> you know, you can't you can't get out of your computer. Yeah. Um, you know. You know. Chinese, uh, you know, any anything out of there unless it's in there. It's like yeah. you can't make, you can't take a profile, and make them look photographic as the front on. It no. doesn't work that way. No. You need information. You know, <laughs> you need to put it into your computer to get it out, whatever it is. So it's like you just need reference. And you know what? Th that's the kind of thing. Like I just don't want to do that kind of work. You know yeah. what I mean? But it's it's okay. <laughs> you know, it's it's okay. Um. So yeah, it's it's interesting, man. Like um. You know, like when I, I when I first started getting into illustration, and you, I mean, you were there the whole time. Um, there were, I remember, like, you know, just not realizing at the time that art directors are people. Right. And and you know, when when I got called the first time by the Wall Street Journal 
um, Fred Harper actually hooked me up. He, uh, oh. he he sent my work to the Wall Street Journal, and you're like, you should you should yeah. use this guy. Awesome. And great. um and so they called me, and I knew they were calling me. So I was so nervous mm -hmm. already, and I'm like thinking the Wall Street right, Journal, right. the Wall Street Journal. And, right, right, and, right. and they called me on the phone, and I was just like, uh, duh, 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 yeah, duh. Right, right. Uh, and then I, I, I don't even remember if I got the job or what it was, but I remember mm -hmm. from that point on, I was like, I would write down things on paper of like how cause I, I was so nervous that I didn't even know how to talk to people at all. And then I realized, right. wait, they're, they're just people that work, you know, they're, right. and, you know, and, and, and they're, right. they're wanting, they're calling me cause they like my work. Right. And I started right. realizing, wait a minute. That yeah, like this is this is no reason to be nervous, you know. Like right, right, right. Totally. Like like the first time time called, um, I remember very clearly. Um, they they called me, and uh, I couldn't. It was I was watching something in in my uh, my apartment, and the phone rings, and I was like, oh, hello, and they're like, oh yeah, this yeah. is so and so art director for Time Magazine. I was yeah. like. Yeah. Like, I know. Yeah. Totally. Like that. Like yeah, that. absolutely. And I, I run to a different right, room. Right, I'm right. like, yes. Right, right, right. Yeah. And yeah. At first, I just heard. Yeah. Didn't hear anything yeah, he yeah. said. Because right, right, right. in my mind, I'm like, yes, I'm doing it. I'm going to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. for sure. Absolutely. And then they're like, we want, I think it was seven people. It was for a Time 100 thing. We want yeah. these seven celebrities painted photorealistically caricatured, but photo. we want to really, yeah. re you know, your yeah. style. Yeah. Um, and I. And at that time, I think it was, I think I only had a couple days to do it. And I had never done a deadline that, sh that quick before right. with that many people. And I was yeah. just like, oh, yeah, yeah, totally. I got it. Yeah, 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 yeah this absolutely. is great. I'll, I'll, yeah. I got off the phone. Right. And I'm like, crap. Right. And yeah. I just got to like right. just figure it out. That's and, what you do. Yeah. Yeah. This, so. Yeah. I got, a, I got a call from Tom Miller. No, no, no. Was it Tom? I think it was Arthur. Arthur, uh, Arthur Hochstein. He was the art director in the 90s. And. So this was 98, and uh, this was like 4 o'clock in the afternoon on a Thursday. Hmm. And the magazine goes to press, uh, closes on Friday. So this was, before the, this was before the internet. Internet happened around 96, 97, but this is 98. So he's like, hey, we got this, uh, we got this uh, cover. And I was like, what? I didn't, I didn't <laughs> say that. I was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was just like, we got a cover. I was like, uh gosh and then he's like uh okay it's uh it's ken griffey and um and um um and um uh ken griffey oh, and, and i remember your mark mcguire yeah and mark mcguire uh you, swinging a baseball bat knocking both of them are knocking a home run out and he's like can you do it i was like yeah yeah, yeah i can do that and uh he's like okay <laughs> it's do it's due in the morning i was like oh my gosh really this is in insane. the morning <laughs> yeah i was doing the morning and you were doing I, acrylics well, and i was painting yeah. I had to draw the thing. I had to. I had to. I had to design. That's crazy. So yeah. Twelve <laughs> hours total. Twelve hours total in that painting, and it was like, it was insane. They they actually. So I was done in the morning. They would send a courier here, and uh, picked it up, put it on uh, a flight, got it to New York City by three in the afternoon. It ran, and they actually ran the cover. And I was like, I could not believe I did the cover of Time Magazine. It was yeah. the biggest, like, oh my <laughs> gosh, I can't believe this. But it was just crazy. I mean, I had no time. 12 <laughs> hours. Yeah. I mean, it's just crazy. So, I mean, yeah, it was it was thrilling and stuff. And it's that little little feather you put in your cap. It's cool, you know, but like, it's like, oh my gosh. Um, yeah. It's just crazy stuff. It just, it just whack you out after a while. Oh, you know, yeah. Like, those deadlines, they just mess with you. That's why I'm not really trying to do storyboards anymore, um, uh, you know, because I do other things. But storyboards is like uh, you get a call, hey, 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 and this is all for the uh, agencies, you know, storyboards for agencies and, you know, products and stuff. And it's like, hey, we got a call. Can you do Can you do a video board? It's like uh, 15 frames. Uh, when's it do? Oh, as soon as possible. It's always as soon as possible. Oh, yeah. So it's like, hey, hon, I can't go to dinner tonight. I can't, I can't oh, have yeah. them over. <laughs> Sorry, I got to. And so you go and you slam for like three days and then you're done. And then you're like, oh, I'm so beat. And, you know, you make, you know, three, four thousand dollars. And people are like, what? You made four thousand bucks. But it's like, yeah, but I gave my life away. Yeah. <laughs> so I did that. I did that. I did that in, the, in my 30s. I did it in my 40s. But now that I'm, you know. 
44. No, I'm I'm 56. <laughs> now that I'm 56, I'm not doing that anymore. You yeah. know, uh, I, I, my life, my uh, having no stress, no pressure, um, trying to stay out of that 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 overwhelmed uh, situation uh, is is how I try to live my life now. And you know, I do have to make money, so there's times when I'm hustling. You know, uh, but. I'm always I'm always thinking like uh, it's almost like um, Microsoft had a tagline like, you know, but right around the time the Internet boomed and it was like, where do you want to go today? And so the Internet was like, oh, I can go wherever so yeah. that, their tagline was, where do you want to go today? That's my tagline. I still think about it. Where do you want to go today? Where do you want to go tomorrow? Be mm. doing that kind of work so you can get there tomorrow. Yeah. No, so, that, that know, makes sense. That makes perfect sense. I'm, I'm always creating. I'm always thinking not to post. Uh, I'm not doing a drawing of Hillary just because I'm doing anything I do is super highly focused that it's going to serve something. Mm -hmm. It's going to serve where I want to go. So I'm not going to do anything just to post and draw. Um, I'm going to draw. Everything I draw has to have a purpose. So I drew. I have a, a, some drawing workshops coming up, which are super cool. And I did. um I did this. I'll, I'll, I'll show. I'll share it later. But it's really a cool drawing of the queen. <laughs> oh, that's awesome! And, and it has. Uh, it's with blue line because I love drawing in blue line. But it's going to be the uh, the workshop poster for London. So then I did another drawing. I don't know where it is right now. now but it's super are these workshops cool. just you? You're going to yeah. Uh, they're just me. Okay. So here's that's another awesome. one that's coming up. I'm going to put this sucker up at some point. But I still <laughs> got to work on it. But that one's for London. I mean, that one's for DC. So yeah. I have. A drawing workshop workshop that I'm going to draw up in DC, but um, I'm drawing according to those themes, and um, so so that I have something to post, mm -hmm. and I'm not reaching back because I honestly feel like uh, I'm I'm creating my best work now. So if I show something from four years ago, it just it's not it's not where I am today. So I'm always trying I'm always creating and thinking, yeah. mm -hmm. and um, so I'm I'm just trying to create with something that is uh relevant or uh relevant to what i where i want to go or what i'm doing you know what i mean oh yeah for sure and I, it's, it's really I think, cool too i love what you've been doing with going to the you know obviously every anyone that knows you knows that you love drawing dogs and and you're yeah. and uh i think it's so cool what you're doing uh going to the dog shows first of right. all right genius i it, is this a Bobby Chu idea? Because that guy's that guy's got the greatest ideas in the world. Or is this just oh, something? I, that's what I'm saying. Is like he always has such great ideas, and I was only I was like, I wonder if he told Tom like you should go to dog shows. But uh, uh, when did you come up with this idea? Yeah. Because this it's brilliant. Because you, you, well, it's like a convention, right? You go and people's people are obsessed about their dogs, and then you've got this right. artist doing these awesome dog drawings and stuff. Right, right, right. It's, it's genius. So, so <laughs> the the well, thanks. Uh, the idea is. Um, Okay, so there's different. First of all, it's all a learning curve. Anything I'm doing is a learning curve. But yeah. to find what you absolutely love, and to do that, uh, you're linking it with passion. You're connecting what you love with your drawing. So you love it's two loves, and whatever you love resonates with other people. So if I start drawing <laughs> monsters, let's say I was at I was at a comic con with uh, Stephen Silver and uh, uh, John Navarez, and they were like, dude. You should go to MonsterCon. You should go to Monster Palooza. Yeah. You kill it. You kill it. And I was like, okay. So I get <laughs> distracted really easily. Man, I could freaking draw a, a ladybug and start drawing ladybugs and go on a big, you know, thing that way. <laughs> but basically, I drew yeah. these monsters because uh, those guys said, dude, you should do Monster Palooza. So I did these monsters, came home, showed my wife and my daughter, and I was like, dude, we're gonna go to Monster Palooza. They looked at me and went. Pop, that's not you. And Mon I was like, what are you talking about? We're going to kill it at Monster Police. Like, oh, yeah. That's not you, man. Yeah. And so so I said, okay, I got to be focused. So I went back to my dogs because I just love, I've been drawing dogs for a long time. And then basically, uh, I, 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 just, I just knew that I need to get in front of dog freaks. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, like, get drop. What happens if you drop yourself in front of dog freaks? It's like piranhas love a cow. <laughs> so you drop a cow and, you know, the water just like boiling over. These piranhas are just like <laughs> chowing and going nuts, you know? So it's like, if I drop myself in front of um, dog freaks, what would happen? Yeah. And so that's, that's what we did finally in, um, uh, in Orlando in, in uh, December. 
And, uh, you know, it's risky because you go, man, I'm spending a lot of money. Can I really get my money back? Can it happen? You know, whatever. But it's like, yeah. it's like the main thing, the main thing is you never know until you try. So mm -hmm. going there uh, was cool. And um, I had to also be very, very for sure, what am I going after? That's another uh, really good question. So, oh, I'm going to go and show my work. And everybody pats me on the back and says, man, dude, that's awesome. But nobody buys it. Then that sucks. Yeah, that's so not, that's the not real good. The thing is you have to figure out. Uh, and I, I my, another good friend of mine, Darren Gigi, who's a really an amazing artist. He's kicking butt in licensing. He um, he said he went to a, a, a licensing. Uh, he went to a, a fair one time and just showed all of his caricatures. And one was Dr. Phil sitting on Oprah Winfrey's lap and everybody loved it and patted him on the back. and was like, Darren, that's amazing. And wait, nobody. Wait, bought wait it. what artist is this? Gigi? Gigi. Oh yeah, I, I know. Guy. I know yeah. who you're talking about. He's, he's yeah. awesome. There's well, a good guy. Yeah, he's awesome. He's an amazing artist, and you yeah. should see what he's doing for licensing right now. That's he's cool. He's kicking butt. He and his wife Megan. That's so awesome. So basically, I've talked to him a lot about licensing, and um, one of the things he said was, "Man, everybody patted him on the back, but nobody bought anything." And so I said, "Okay, when I go to this dog show, I need to be very clear what I'm going after. I'm not just going there to get pats on the back." I, I took uh, suitcases. I had some luggage that had my dog art on it. I had mugs. I had prints, and nothing, nothing really sold, but my work, the actual work, and my commission sold, but none of the products sold. Oh, and so people don't want prints of their dogs. They won't. Nest, they'll buy a mug. They bought some prints, but what really moved, what people really want, is to have that actual art. And so I, I, my focus is extreme now. I'm only going to, to com position myself. What are you here for? I'm here for commissions. Yeah. So when I come up with a card, it has to say what that is. It has to, it has to, it has to broadcast it. Exclusive oil portraiture. And it has my dog on it. And it's like, whoa, okay, so it's exclusive. What does that mean? It's not just the word I flippantly Yeah. I mean, it's exclusive. Why is it exclusive? Because I've done high profile stuff, thankfully, and you're going to get something from me that you can't get from this artist, let's say. Right. So exclusive means something. Yeah. Oil is this is a this is this is a this is a, an investment and portraiture. It's a portraiture. I can go portraitive. I can go exaggerated. So I'm saying all these things I've been thinking about and, and um, there's no it's no accident. There's no accident that you. Yeah. Um, that you succeed, you think and plan. Everybody does it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. So it's no, like it makes perfect idea, sense. Just putting myself in the right environment. And the other thing is, we just went to Westminster uh, Dog Show, which is really gigantic. And so I have friends that I made at the AKC show in Orlando, and we're gonna go back to the AKC show in Orlando. But I really want to go to uh, Westminster in New York City, but that's extremely expensive. And I have to weigh it out and say, okay, there's a risk. I'm going to drop, you know, X amount of thousands of dollars for a booth. It's way more expensive, blah, 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 airline, you know, whatever. And I have to design my booth, all this stuff. And then I have to say, okay, can I make, can I introduce myself to that crowd? And now I believe I can. I just have to have the invite so that they invite me because mm -hmm. it's like uh, you might, I might be on a waiting list. But I'll take that as a good sign that I'll wait. But in the meantime, I'm hungry. So all of my stuff that I'm making and creating is getting ready for that show. So when I show up to that show, if I get in, I'm going to show – I'm going to ship my originals there yeah. because I want them to actually see them. I want them to hold on to them and say, dang, and my work is going to be big. And so it's, it's super cool, but I'm super So did pumped. you just go to uh, New York uh, just to like make connections this last time? Yep, um, I went to meet. I went to look at the vendor to okay. see what it looks like, what people were doing. Okay, but cool. also to meet the vendor, the vendor contact, the, the vendor lead, uh, and 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 um, I already talked with her already. I sent her an email. We chatted. Uh, she gave me free passes in, uh, but <clears throat> we'll see if they let me in. They're, they said there's a waiting list, but at this point, I would take that risk to show up to that New York crowd. Yeah. And uh, that's really so I have a lot of paintings that I'm really coming back on that I I have I've created a ton of dog imagery in the last couple of years. But I'm going to actually create um, some other serious portraiture. And uh, 
and and really get this volume of work ready uh, so that if the show happens in February of next year, we're going to show up. It's going to be super cool. That's but awesome. It's super cool. Yeah, I'm super pumped, but it's my passion, you know. Oh, that's awesome, man. No, it's cool. It's, 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 I think it's a genius idea. Like when, I, when I saw that, you know, the Orlando one, I'm like, oh, that's, that's, that's going to be awesome. Cause I mean, it's, I, who doesn't, I mean, people, dog people are crazy. And they I know are. cause I, everyone, everyone has a dog, you know, you're right. in love with your right. dog and right. Right. people want, would rather want a painting of their dog than their baby. <laughs> Some, yeah. you know what I mean? I know. I know. People are like, you yeah. know, it's, it's, that's yeah. what it seems like anyway. So, I mean, I've done a few um, pet portraits before, and, and um, it, that, it can also be, like, kind of crazy doing pet, pet portraits for people because yeah. th they're so intense about their dog. Totally. Like, that, that yeah. is not what his nose looks like. It's like, exactly, oh, lady, I'm yep. telling you, that's what his nose looks like. No, there's right. just something off. It's like, no, there's, it's, I'm telling you, that's – and, like, I've, I've done it for, like – I, yeah. there's, there's just something wrong with the nose. I'm like, I don't know what to tell you. I don't. I know, I know. <laughs> you know, yeah. and my my dad, um, he uh, he had a few years ago. He had um, he had a uh, what do you call it? A chocolate lab and yeah, a, a golden retriever that he had for years, and both of them ended yeah. up passing away. They got they they yeah. got sick and old, and and he was like, I'm never gonna get another dog again. My mom didn't want to get another dog again. Uh, right. It was too hard, you know. But then yep. eventually, my right. dad talked my mom into getting another. So he got right. he got a chocolate lab, and right. this thing is his life. He loves yeah. this dog so. I see, I see pictures. Oh of my it. He gosh! It a lot. Oh, dude. your dad's a great artist. By oh, he's he's pretty awesome. Pop. Yeah, he's, he's awesome. a cool guy. I like yeah. that guy. I'm gonna meet him someday. Oh yeah, you love him. He's a good awesome. guy. But uh, his his uh, you know. He's obsessed with this dog. Like he he yeah. he puts the dog in a harness in the garage to to, to to clip its nails, and he documents it. And he sh it's like <laughs> he's like he's obsessed. So right. To, so people love their dogs. Yes. They're freaks. And for They're Christmas freaks. this year, I was like, I, I was trying to think of something to get my dad. Um, it's it's hard to come up with something because normally my dad likes to hunt and stuff. So I th we think about yeah. hunting stuff or whatever. So but this year I did a, a drawing of his dog, uh, yeah. and had it you know. Um, I actually didn't have time. I, I did a digital drawing of his dog, yeah. but I had yeah. it printed really nice on um, on a, like a canvas uh, wraparound thing, right. and, yeah. and oh, that's cool. what I and and you know uh, he, he he loves it, you know, it's, and it's yeah. it's awesome right, because right, it's right, like right. it's an original thing, like yeah. you can't you know, right. but it's the thing. It's about it's this dog. It's like yeah. what else is they, better they, than that? <laughs> yeah, they they love it. It's it's interesting. So when you show up to a, a dog show, that's a championship. Yeah, these people. Uh, they are serious about their dogs. And so it was interesting. We were placed right next to this lady that's a rock star. And she ha she makes the shampoo. So all the major people show up at her booth. And they look over at mine. They're like, whoa, what are you doing? <laughs> and so she was cool. She took me under her wing. And so when we started hanging our work, I actually had this really big corgi uh, printed up. And she, she had a corgi. And when she walked in, she goes, well, I just want to tell you, these are pet <laughs> portraits. These are pet portraits, and you don't have any championship paintings. And I was like, crap, man, I missed it. And so we're hanging up this work, and I'm like, this sucks. I didn't know. I didn't know there's championship paintings, that kind of a thing. Uh, and so I said, I feel like I'm cracking jokes at church. You know, yeah. like I'm showing up, hey guys, come over, let me show you how cool this dog is. He's got a bone sticking out of his nose, and he's got like aviator goggles on. Isn't that funny? And they're like, that's not what pugs do. You know what I mean? Like yeah. this whole idea that like, very they're like I'm offending them. Or like, you made his nose too long. You know what? And so <laughs> I realized like, crap, man, I think I really missed it here. Yeah. And it was just the opposite though. People walked into my booth and they flipped out. They loved it. And yeah. they said, no, no, no. We've seen championship paintings. We're bored with those. Nobody's doing this. And I was like, cool. Yeah, so that's awesome. What it did allow me to do was it, it, it allowed me to, uh, understand uh, that I'm going to create um, more more dog show type work, but I'm not going to position myself that I will paint your dog with a trophy as a realistic, you know, yeah. painting. Because honestly, I think I would die. I think it would be like, oh, you know <laughs> what I mean? Like it would be like, yeah. uh, okay, I got 30 of those to do. Oh my gosh! But I uh, look. I'm not knocking it because it's money and it, it's, I love painting and drawing. But what I want to do is I want to create the type of work that I do. So anyways, all I'm saying is going there, 
uh, it's you, you learn, you make adjustments. It's like football. Uh, the team's losing at halftime. They go in, they talk, they get their heads get together. They they make adjustments. Yeah. And then you they come out and they play better and they win. So it's like uh, as an artist, everything is an adjustment. You make an adjustment. You show your work to someone. You make those adjustments. You're always going to keep winning. You know. Yeah. For so sure. it, it, it was it was super cool. We'll see where it goes. Um, I have a, I have like maybe a three year plan. Somebody said, if you do something for three years and you don't make any money from it, it's a hobby. So <laughs> at this point, that's a good uh, thing. The verdict is yeah. still out. Uh, I am making money doing and drawing dogs. I have commissions to do, uh, which is cool. But um, we'll see where it goes. You know, no, the problem awesome. is I'm so. The yeah, problem it's... is I'm extremely distracted drawing The Walking Dead, <laughs> and I have people saying, "When are you going to get that commission done that I already paid for?" And I'm like, "Oh I, yeah, I, next week, next week, next week." I know. You know that happens to me. Like I, I've got to finish uh, a, a commission, and I really need to to get going on it. Um, but that that it's like you, sometimes you just get bored. Uh, working on the commission and you just you have you, f you have that need to just draw and it, and like sometimes my wife will be like, what are you drawing you should be working right. on the commission it's like right, right, I, right. I, I just i need to draw right now like right, I, I right, I, right, right. i'll get to it but i have to draw for me yeah otherwise yeah. I'll, I'll get so right. bored you know but right right, right. you know right. hey real quick walking dead yeah uh yeah. well i love that show i've been watching it the, for since the beginning but yeah. man I just got to say, I know this is totally off topic, but who cares? Yeah. Um, yeah. I can't stand the Negan guy. There's no way that guy should be alive. Uh, it just keeps going on and on and on. It's like, come on. <laughs> like, even, even when Rick was in it and he was, like, fighting with him, there's, like, so many opportunities to take the guy out. And, you, and it's so stupid. It's like, come on. And here's the other thing. Remember that scene where the zombies – Take down a friggin' tiger and kill it? Do you remember I that? I don't know. You remember you remember that guy that, that's like kinda like the got the the dreadlocks and he's like he's kinda acts like he's like the king or whatever. He's he's like Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Totally. I get it. Yeah, yeah. They took a, down the guy in the swamp. Yeah. What? I get it. And, okay. and and there's a there's a scene where a bunch of you know, a bunch of them come up to a yeah, horse yeah. and they take yeah. down it's like I'm sorry. You get eight, you get eight healthy men. Right. To go up to a horse and try biting a horse, yeah. see what happens. Uh, I understand. And these things but, are see, the frail. Other thing, oh, the other thing, they're they're, they're <laughs> sort of dumbed down. They're they're dumbed down. So the fact that they go like this and take a lion doesn't work. But no. I will say this about Negan, okay? <laughs> I, I actually it, it got excessive, and yeah. I was like, you know what? Get rid of Negan. I hate this show right now. I yeah. hate this show. And then he gets thrown in prison, and then there's a break, and and I hated Negan when he <laughs> when he was introduced into the scene that was the most evil oh. moment in tv history i've ever seen oh. and i couldn't handle it oh, i hated yeah. him i yeah. actually cussed at the at the monitor i was like you yeah. and i i i, I hate it oh and yeah so i it wanted terrible. dead and yeah. so yeah okay now fast forward he's in jail and you're like like you said what is he doing but look, he's affected our lives, right? Yeah. And that's an emotional connection. That's what that's what great literature does or great writing mm -hmm. is you're emotionally connected and you're like, right? Yeah. And you just hate him. So yeah. now I actually like him. Yeah. I know that's crazy. I like the fact that he's on the show because well, it's he's like a great actor. Too. I hate him. I yeah. hate his dumb, his dumb smile. I hate his smile. And, it was, and yeah. I want to punch him. <laughs> but I'm saying, I like, I kind of like him a little bit. That's yeah. what's crazy about it. No, so it, all I'm it saying is, is it that is good. Yeah. It's like, I, I, I want to draw The Walking Dead, but I can't right now. But I'm saying it's like <laughs> the, the, him especially. So that's what's up with Negan is well, they've created a character. It was cool that, seeing that, him uh, kind of dehumanized a little bit when he was in jail. And like yeah. he started like kind of losing his mind and you know you know and I love I love uh, losing his mind like what yeah. crying and being a human yeah that, well compared, is that what you mean by losing yeah. his mind but compared to the 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 guy who who has everyone in mind control I am Negan I am Negan and oh, yeah, you know yeah, yeah. and so it was just you know and then you realize that he's got this weird emotional attachment to a baseball bat 
that yeah, you know he's, and he's nuts and he's, and it's and it's it's pretty cool it was pretty cool how they did that and i love uh rick's daughter too how she's like this oh little badass God. Um, yes, and, she's and, so cute too. Like she's like holding the gun on him. Like uh, I'm like, gonna do more drawings. <laughs> with her. She's but, crazy. Um, but uh, hey, uh, let's you know. Speaking of, we we've got lots of uh, drawings, and so I just want before I start showing you some drawings, um, I just want everybody out there. First of all, thank you so much for submitting drawings. Yeah, thanks. But um, and, and and there's so many amazing drawings, but um, I have to do this episode differently than I've ever had to do before because. And I'll try to explain this as clear as possible. My podcast is not about showing drawings of, of, that people have done of my guests. That's a part of my podcast. That's supposed to be a fun thing to surprise my guests. But it's, it shouldn't be the whole podcast. Um, and with, with this particular uh, episode with Tom, I received over 90 submissions. Uh, and... So it is impossible for me to show all of those submissions because it would be a three-hour um, thing. And, 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 not, you know, and this podcast is about talking to artists and hearing their stories and that kind of a thing. Um, and so Tom is, is generous enough uh, to – we're going to record a bonus video of us talking about your artwork. And so for this podcast, I'm going to show – I picked out um, – I think 16 um, that I personally liked the most. Um, they were the ones that I, that stood out to me. Um, and it doesn't mean that I didn't like the other ones because there are so many. I had to pick a small amount because we, we, we need to get through this podcast. <laughs> but there were so many awesome submissions, and I'm going to show all of them. But just for this episode, we're going to look at 16 of them um, and talk about them. And then we're going to do a bonus video where we're going we're gonna to talk about all the other drawings because they're all really good. Um, and uh, so anyways, oh, and here's the other thing. Um, everybody was tagging Tom <laughs> and showing the drawings before um, we, we talked about it. So it's not a big deal, but if you're going to submit drawings, um, it's really cool. And it's a lot of fun and um, everyone's enjoying it. But part of the thing is, is you want to surprise the guest because you get an, an honest, real reaction from them. Um, and, you know, so let's try to wait, <laughs> right? <laughs> let's try. Yeah, I, let's try. I, I, I would like, I would actually <laughs> like to thank people too. Um, yeah. You know, like I'm honored anytime that happens. And uh, really, thank you very much. I, I also want to just, uh, you know, let my friends know who are not artists that follow me on uh, uh, that were friends on Facebook. They probably wondering what the heck is going on. Why is everybody <laughs> everybody drawing Tom? And yeah. I know people are sick of me. Yeah. And and I know that I get it. I'm kind of sick of I you just, after seeing all I these. Know, drawings. I, I know. I know. I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't invite it. I didn't. Yeah. I, I I'm just sharing it because I want to honor and oh, thank yeah, yeah. people. So I'm just sharing it and I'm, I'm acknowledging. If I also forgot someone. And, you, and I didn't share your work. It wasn't don't don't do the deduction that I suck. It wasn't good enough. And so he didn't do it. But he showed yeah. everybody else. So I might have just forgot it. So if I didn't uh, show yours or share it, please send it. Well, I don't know. Please send it back. Maybe I forgot one or two. And, but, uh, you know, and I'd like, to, I'd like to add one more thing is that um, is that because I do personally care about everybody that sent drawings, you know, you spent a long time on them, um, you know, I, so be, because I do care about that, we are going to do the, the other video. Um, but uh, I do have to if, – if anyone's got ideas, I'm trying to come up with a way – because I don't know if this is going to happen every time um, um, or if this is just a fluke thing with, uh, with Tom. But, you know, i got to come up with a different way to do, you know, uh, this whole process. <laughs> because if there's like hundreds of them coming in, um, like usually it's like 20 tops or 25 I mean, with Vouter, it was like 40-something, and I was like, geez. Uh, but we got through <laughs> that, but it was still long. So anyways, um, let's take a look at, the, at these drawings. Uh, they're pretty awesome. Um, and then uh, we'll talk about, about those. Hold on one second. Okay, cool. Wow, there's a delay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. Wow. Okay, so this, this first wow. one is by Austin Maloney, and uh, I love this one. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, that's beautiful. Wow. 
I think I saw that. I think he yeah. may have sent that to me on uh, Instagram, maybe. But that's a beautiful painting. Yeah. Yeah, I I, li- wow. I really like the the kind of yeah. like the buttery buttery like paint, yeah. paintwork with it. That's beautiful. Yeah, it's very nice. That's fantastic. Thank you. That's beautiful. Yeah, it's pretty cool, man. Uh, it's yeah. a it's a very nice um, uh, almost Van Goghy type. Yeah, uh, movement and stuff going on. Yeah, totally, totally. Have you? Did you see the movie, uh, the Van Gogh movie, where it's all painted? No, I want to see it. I want to see it's, it. It's it's pretty cool, it. man. Every every scene, every um, cell is a oil painting. It's pretty awesome. Is this the one with the uh, um, 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 William Defoe? Mm. There's a William Defoe. No, movie no. This this is Van the Go. whole movie. Or Degas. That one's Degas. I think. Yeah, the whole movie is all painted. Every shot That's is a paint. And it's like animated oil paintings. It's crazy. Wow. Um, check it out. I love this one, too. This is by Thierry uh, Oh, my Coppolet. gosh. My wife back there. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that awesome? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. This this one, uh, <laughs> my goodness. I mean, I'm honored Terry drew me. Uh, yeah, he's awesome. This is Terry, right? Yep, yep. He's so awesome. I mean, oh, gosh. I just love his work. I mean, I, I don't even know what this guy does. I mean, he just draws caricatures every day. I don't, I don't know if that's his job, but he's one of the best in the world. I, yeah. I, I just love his takes. I love everything he does. I'm, I'm always, I always save his work. I mean, his flesh tones are fantastic. He, he, he only uh, reserves on the flesh tones like one little spot of white, and, and most of the flesh is all just, you know, a value. And mm-hmm. it's, yep. it's masterful. He, he knows what he's doing. He's got a massive amount of depth to him. He's one of my favorite artists. I think he's one of the best alive today. Dan yeah, and I, I love his pencil work too. Okay. His his cross hatching yeah, and stuff. He, oh, he's he's an amazing artist. I don't. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm not even trying to pander to him. I'm just saying. Oh, he's awesome. He, I want to meet him. Yeah, he's. I I fall down at his. Yeah, he's feet. very I'm cool. Not, he's very cool. He's awesome. Yeah, he's awesome. he's awesome. No, this one this one cracked me up too because I love how your wife just like peeking back there like hey. I didn't even see that. <laughs> that is hilarious. That is hilarious. It was very funny. Man, dang, that's cool. I'm gonna get a print of that. Yeah, I'll email yeah. these to you too. Um, this wow. one's pretty co- pretty cool too. A very cool style. Yeah, yeah. This is by yeah, yeah. Daniel um, Elsheimer. That's and, awesome. Yeah. Um, I there's I I really just like the style. You know, it's got a really it's nice. Beautiful. It's fantastic. Great yeah. hand too. Yeah, you know, I was gonna say, uh, people are probably wondering why did you take such uh, uh, arrogant pictures of yourself? You know, you're full of yourself. <laughs> Maybe I am. I mean, I fight with being full of myself, so I need to put myself down on any given day for sure. So I'm not denying that. What I am getting at is, I took actually these pictures for myself because I was good. I did a self portrait. I'll show it at some point, but um, I, I submitted it to a few competitions. But it, no, I haven't shown it yet but that's why i had these ready to just send out i didn't yeah. take these pictures but that's really cool these are and they and they're be, they're beautiful shots they yeah. the lighting is cool so they lend themselves really well so this is an amazing piece I and love uh this he piece. he's he was really nice um he he wrote me a really nice uh message about yeah. uh the podcast and how much he's enjoying it and thanks for the hard work and all this stuff and then he did a drawing of me um so uh, i so this is one he did of me <laughs> Oh my God! So I, that's fantastic. Yeah, I thought he, I thought he nailed me. So, um, oh my gosh, yeah, yeah, I'd put that on a business card and <laughs> don't let him know, don't pay him for it. But, yeah, you know. right. <laughs> no, but I had to share <laughs> that. I had to share this just to say thank you because you know he he wrote me a nice letter and everything and 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 I, I thought the drawing was cool too. It's so. amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. This one oh, is wow, by. I don't uh, think I've seen. This yeah, one. this yeah. one is by Matt Elder. Uh, web wow. and yeah. I love watercolor as a medium and he yeah. also sent me a video a time lapse a video of him uh-huh. painting this um, wow. and then you can see him he's actually his phone is next to him while he's painting and he's watching my podcast while he's painting it's pretty uh-huh. cool but uh, that is really yes, cool this is I thought that this has just got a really awesome That's feel to it beautiful. yeah that is so beautiful very that nice is so that yeah. is awesome um this one is by Mario Magnetti, and I just love it. That's insane. <laughs> wow, that is really creative, man. I love the design. That, that's a, yeah, it's a beautiful take, man. The um, the choices are so amazing. Wow. 
That is insane. That's cool. Yeah. yeah, you know, when I drew mine, I love the smoke, the tea there. When I drew mine, uh, I, I, I thought back after I did it that I was going to put some smoke on it uh, going up, but I didn't. But I like seeing that he lit the cigar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, it's super cool, man. That's beautiful. Yeah, Fantastic. That's, cool. that's a great take. That's awesome. This one oh my is God. hilarious. This is too. awesome. <laughs> That is um, awesome. I love that shirt, man. Yeah, this is uh, by Dustin Clark. I just thought the that style. Cool. Um, I know Dustin. Yeah, yeah, that's fantastic. Very cool yeah. style. That is so cool. Yeah, that's awesome. He's got me really looking maniacal, which I am. So <laughs> that's great, dude. That is awesome. Yeah. That has a great quality to it. I love the light. There's an energy about it. That's super it cool. It feels like uh, it could like like it could be from an animation. It's really got a, like, you know. Okay. It totally. just it just has like a nice uh, life to it, you know. Yeah, I liked it because it stuck out. You know, I I tried to like pick uh, you know, a variety of different styles uh, from from all the yeah, you know. Right, right on. I love it. I love it. That's um, super cool. This one's very nice as well from wow. Ivan Aginko. Wow, that is masterfully done, man, dude. That's awesome. Wow, I really love that. It's got that wow. that. Uh, Love that Diddy Dutch Fle there, Flemish man. feeling to it. Yeah, it does, man. <laughs> that is beautiful. Wow, he nailed it. That is incredible. I love that piece, dude. It's we, amazing oh, to see man. what people exaggerate. You know, like it's just, I just love that. I'm like that's... seeing you in my dreams now, though, because I've there's yeah, I've been looking at I've been looking at pictures of you or caricatures of you for like yeah. a week now. Um, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. It's a nightmare when you see me in your dreams. That bitty is hilarious. That <laughs> is super cool, dude. That's that's really awesome. Yeah, I'd like to get a print of that one too. That's beautiful. That's amazing. Yeah, I'll try nice. to send as many of these as I can. Um, I don't know cool. if you have enough hard drive though. <laughs> uh, this yeah, one's yeah. by Tomas Madasi. Very cool. That is beautiful, man. Wow, that is really cool. I love that. Yeah. I love how that that, 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 that right shoulder, you know, looking at it from our left, that left shoulder is popped back there. It's beautiful, man. That hand coming out. That's beautiful. It's really beautiful. It's really interesting doing this and seeing, you know, everybody's different approach and take. Yeah, um, I haven't seen that. I haven't like, seen the, I haven't seen a lot of these. Um, this is by Ken oh my, Coogan. Oh my. <laughs> I oh love my it. God. Ken, Dang. Ken, uh, he actually uh, did one of yeah. of Walter for that. And that <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, I think that's he's the done one a few, you but... used, right? That's yeah. the one you used. Yeah, that's fantastic. But... I, I I think I met Ken maybe in the at. Uh, that's a genius one, man. Um, I think he's from Ireland. I... I think. Wow. I could be wrong. I just love this man. Yeah, he's got great style. Uh, uh, that is amazing. I, I need a print of that one too, man, for my studio. I, I'm I'm going to be moving at some point in the next year, and I'm, I have this wall that I have a lot of. Uh, I've been collecting and trading with uh, people, uh, and uh, I just traded with Lindsay Lively. Oh yeah, and, she's uh, great. I want to I want to talk yeah. with her at some point too. She's, so at some point, awesome. I'm trading maybe with uh, Sean Cheatham, one of my greatest, fa fa uh, one of my favorite painters. Uh, we have it on the dock to trade, and we're just too busy to get together. But he's my goodness, he's I mean, amazing. He's a, he's a rock star. I'm gonna study with him at some point. But oh yeah, he is a he's a so, brilliant he, painter. He's awesome. He, oh, yeah. He's my favorite painter. Like, see, I think like if you want to learn landscapes or you want to just learn how to paint, figure out who who is amazing that you you love and go study with that person. And, yep. Really, pick no, their he, brain. He's awesome, we, we man. He's, I love his uh, his his tone. You he's know, a, he's a, his palette uh, he's that awesome. he works with is just beautiful. Yeah, he's, he's awesome. A, he's brilliant. He is awesome. But I want to get a print of this one too. This is brilliant. Um, wow, these are so cool. This is by Kate Oleska. Um, yeah. yeah, I know who Kate yeah, is. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. My goodness! Wow, that's incredible. Yeah, my I I, I really oh. like the. Uh, Underneath your chin, insane. underneath your chin, that brush yeah. stroke that's just like Psh. awesome. Dang, it's cool. That, I'm so glad I uh, I'm now seeing these for the first time. That is incredible, man. Thank you, Kate. That's awesome. Yeah. What I like about yeah. this one too is if you kind of squint your eyes at it, 
it's like yeah it's a really it's nice imp impression yeah yeah so it's cool yeah i might have to trade a drawing for that one i think that's a real painting so yeah she did that in oils and by the way have you have you seen her her pet portraits she's brilliant oh yeah, yeah she's really good they're both, they're both great artists i love those guys amazing oh yeah oh my god it's this awesome one. too mike uh, this is mike um to finale my goodness awesome this is this had great take i mean this is yeah. like so stylized i love it yeah that's that why i awesome. like this it, it just has like a uh um i don't know i don't know what it is but it's it's it has like a maybe it's maybe it's reminding me of risco a little bit or yeah 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 it has of, that entertainment weekly uh yeah uh, approach. it's beautiful yeah it's pretty cool that is just awesome Wow, I'm so honored. This is just like beyond me. I mean, I'm like, wow, people would take the time to draw me. I mean, it, it really is. It's Dude, it's cool. That's it's it's a, it's that's what I was being like overwhelmed. I'm like, oh my gosh! Like the other day when we were on the phone, no joke, I got 15 <laughs> people sent me drawings awesome. of you just while we were talking. I mean, it's that's crazy. crazy. Yeah, that's um, crazy. Oh my gosh. This, this is by Matt Ryder, and I believe wow. this is oil as well. Yeah, this is an oil as well. That's beautiful. That's insane. That's so cool. That yeah. is awesome. It's very cool. I mean, I, I feel like a beggar. I, I would like to have, have <laughs> these, but that's, that's beyond me. But that's incredible. Yeah, that's, that's really amazing. cool. It's nice. Wow. Yeah, it's beautiful. Wow. And, oop. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my goodness! This is insane. Who's <laughs> yeah, this? This one is by Mark Mark Heap. Gosh, the detail on that shirt is insane. Like I drew that shirt and I got lost in the shirt. Yeah, that, they did not get lost in that shirt. That shirt is insanely beautiful. Yeah. Wow. That's a lot of. That is insane. That is crazy. That is really crazy cool. Thank you. That's beautiful. That's very cool. Wow. I like that little patch of pink up at the uh, turn of my forehead going back to the angled plane. Mm. That's oh, nice, yeah. man. That is really sweet. That pat the pink patch. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Wow. That's amazing. Thank and, uh, you. This one wow. I just this one cracked me up. Uh this is by Laurent Grassat. And uh That's it, you look like a really hip Amish guy. <laughs> <laughs> Hip Amish guy. I am Amish, by the way. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Turning Amish. Isn't there a show of um, leaving Amish or something? But, oh, I don't know. Uh, Painting Amish is the oh, new yeah. show. That's no, awesome. But it's it's got a great. I, I like I like the the um. It's got a great style to it, but also <laughs> just the 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 way. There's the one thing I like about this this one is the energy in the brushwork. Um, yeah. It's it's right. very freeing. Yeah, and you don't you don't see people do that very often. Like this this yeah. person is painting in a way where they're being very expressive, but it looks like you know they they're not just doing it for the sake of trying to look artsy. It's just it's very it has a very natural yeah. Um, yeah. painterly feel, and I really like yeah. that. It's cool. Yeah, it's very alive. I mean, the angles there's a lot of angles going on there that are super cool and, and actually quite bold. You know, yeah, a little little bold uh, stroke uh, coming out of my uh, my jaw beard. That that little um, angular little patch of like um, a value of a three. That's cool, right there. Yeah, you know, that's, that's awesome. Beautiful. Fantastic. Um, this one is by Asamadi oh, Abdullah. Wow, cool. I haven't seen any of these. That's awesome. That is awesome. Me as one line. Yeah. As one continuous line. That's awesome. No, it's really that is yeah. He's. Beautiful. Wow. I think I think he actually did a couple, um, and I was like, "Hey, I, I, I can only choose one," um, oh. so he he wanted me to go with this one. And he's, I think he's entered almost every one of my podcasts now, and I've is. I've watched this his style kind of developing like this, and yeah, it's pretty. I think it's pretty cool. Super cool. It's got that like is super electricity cool. to it. That is so cool, man. No, <laughs> Excuse me. Thank you, thank you. That's beautiful. And uh, this one. Oh. Uh, is by M uh, what's his Miguel uh, Michaela Nola Moss. Amazing! Wow, that jacket is insane. Yeah, this was like that's beautiful. Yeah, this, that neck. This one uh, is like this is so. Um, 
tech, tech, oh, ugh, that's I can't even talk right now. Technically, um, I've, I've really was impressed with this one. I thought just beautifully ah, oh, handled. Oh my goodness! Yeah, technically. Yeah, it's really nothing, awesome. I mean, the the lightness is amazing and beautiful, but the the uh, the detail and the 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 ability to render my jacket and the neck and the the flesh tone it's just it's it's a beautiful there's not there's there's you know like a lot of times when people do art they they get all distracted by the highlights and and highlights uh, uh distract from the the piece mm-hmm. and there there's there's a highlight in my ear maybe that's about the brightest and it's just it's just amazing that neck is insane that's beautiful yeah that's the neck is awesome piece. yeah that's insane i love this one wow Wow, and I think that's that, actually oh. the I think that's actually the last one. So I like that shadow in the back, that little that little like uh, double edge ghost shadow underneath yeah. that hat. Super cool too. Like that is and it's a beautiful value of that shadow back there. That's really cool, man. Thank you. I'm I'm blown away. I really am. I'm not just saying that. Yeah, it's an wow. awesome. I'll send I'll send you copies of these. Um, yeah. Um, so, yeah. so anyways, like I said before, we're going to, uh, do another video where we're going to look at the rest of the work because we don't want any of you that, you know, to feel left out. Um, you guys all did an amazing work. So, um, but before we, uh, end up wrapping this up, let's, let's talk real quick about a couple things that, that are going on. Um, one thing is we're, we're both going to be at, at Lightbox, right. um, which Absolutely. is an awesome, um, art expo that yeah. Bobby Chu is starting. It's yeah. a convention for artists, and we're going to be – it's going to be in Pasadena uh, – Pasad, where is it? Pasadena, Cali. Pas, it is in Pasadena. Okay. Pasadena. Yeah, Pasadena. And, um, and uh, I'm, I'm going to have a booth there. You're going to have a booth. I'm going to probably – I'm planning on um, just doing some – just painting while I'm there. Um, awesome. Might, awesome. might do some small, like, oil sketches or different things sweet, like that. Sweet, sweet. That would um, be cool. And but really, I, I, you know, if anybody out there has a chance to be able to go, you should go. I think tickets are on sale March six or something like that. But yeah. if you go to the Lightbox uh, Expo dot com or whatever it is, I'll put the the link on here. Lightbox Light Lightbox Light, Expo. Lightbox com. Expo. Okay. Um, but yeah. it's gonna there's like hundreds of just yeah. awesome awesome artists. Uh, there's gonna yeah. be workshops. There's gonna be demos yeah. and it's just gonna be a bunch of people Panels. just like yeah it's gonna be so cool i can't wait i'm very excited it's gonna be it. insane yeah. yeah it's gonna be totally cool i mean uh bobby bobby uh he, his his passion is to to build up and edify the artist and all artists so yeah you know like i, I heard somebody saying yeah yeah this one famous artist wouldn't even give him the time of day and i'm like hey, that sucks you know who do you think you are you know yeah um we're all this is a community you know this is this is a we're helping we want to be helpful and that's what this is this is going to be helpful it's going to be i mean this is what we talked about earlier this didn't happen in the 80s you couldn't go hang out and look at the the person and talk to oh, and yeah. engage with the person that you follow on social media like you can hang out you could buy their books and stuff you know i'm gonna have books and stuff and prints and <clears throat> i'm gonna have a bunch of originals <clears throat> as well just selling all the blue line stuff and sketches and, and all packed up and ready to go, but it's going to be super cool. It's going to be engagement, but just there, nobody is, um, is, uh, is, is like, uh, not reachable here. You know, yeah. your favorite artist is going to be insanely it's gonna be cool. Awesome. I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to fanboy out for yeah. sure. I'm going to be like, Oh man, this is, you know, like Dude, I'm excited whoever too, my uh, favorite artists are going to be, awesome. be there. Vot- Vot- yeah, Vot- is going to be there. And, and, uh, he, you know, he, um, we, you know, I just did the podcast with him. He's uh, been a friend of mine for a long time, but we've never yeah. met in person. So that's going to be super right. cool yeah, to I finally meet him. I've met him it's a just, few times. He's an amazing yeah. guy. I love Valerie. He's, he's a dear friend. So. He's awesome. Just to hang out, you know. Oh yeah, it's going to be so cool. I mean, I'm so excited because there's I have a, a lot of friends that are going to be there, so it's going to be a good time. And the other totally. thing is, uh, we should let people know is, uh, I mean, a lot of people already know this, but both of us teach uh, courses and classes at Schoolism, uh, Schoolism dot com. So there's uh, classes available um and then real quick uh what's this uh the workshops that you're doing you want to talk about that yeah. a little bit just let people know yeah. what's going on cool yeah so the workshops there's there's uh the main focus right now is for uh for 2019 is these are these are um, uh, a friday evening and two days of just drawing and so it's like i'm going to be teaching the blue line drawing and just drawing fundamentals drawing 
how, what am I doing when I'm drawing and how do I draw? And so it's uh, Friday night is just dropping uh, my story, looking at uh, my work and my videos and then handing out my actual work that we can look at it and, and talk for, you know, Friday evening. And then, and then Saturday morning, um, we all show up and we, uh, we just, we just, I uh, drop, uh, the principles involved with, uh, drawing from the blind contour, uh, not really approach. What is that? Uh, how do you use angles? How do you get a likeness? And then we talk about value. We talk about planes. Value is the most, one of the most important principles, concepts to talk about and understand. What is it? It took me a long time to figure it out. Like, what is value? What the heck is it? Yeah. And, and then, so we're talking about that. We're talking about shapes. We're talking about design. It's just like, uh, so that's, and then I'm going to actually do a demo on Saturday. I'm, you're just going to watch me draw and I'm gonna just talk about it. And then on Sunday, uh, maybe a little bit Saturday evening, uh, we're going to, we're going to, you're going to actually draw. And then on Sunday, the whole day is just drawing. I walk around, I sit down and we just talk and look at your drawing. And I give you one or two major points about what you need to work on. And so, uh, and we just keep circling the room and come back. So it's super cool. Like I'm, I'm super pumped to engage with the passion of drawing it's just and to just just to because there's nothing beyond it like I, I mean look painting is cool but you're only as good as you draw so mm -hmm. this drawing workshop is just really like a delighting in and an enjoyment of drawing so that's super cool so i'm gonna have one in uh, dayton ohio in may uh, the, the weekend after uh, memorial day and then i'm gonna drop one in dc which those th that that venue is about ready to be nailed down in in uh it's going to be somewhere in October, but I'm also going to go over to uh, London and do one. And uh, that one's going to be super cool. That's going to happen. And uh, a awesome. friend of mine, uh, this dude's setting it up. So that's super cool. Same thing. Then I'm tossing about an idea since we're already going to be uh, in, in L.A. And, uh, and I might stay after a week. We're going to travel around. <clears> but I might just drop a, uh, just a, a workshop for one day uh, after Lightbox. Uh, and that 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 might happen uh, where just one day it's a one day sort of uh, same idea, but I'm not interacting and drawing with you. But I'm gonna do a demo, drop all the information, and just sort of like engage with uh, how cool drawing is. And it's just gonna be a a, a one day workshop uh, after Lightbox uh, the following week, probably. So we're, we're we're nailing that out right now. But it's super cool. I'm super pumped. That's awesome. And thank you for letting me talk about that. Oh yeah, of course, man. Awesome. I know a lot of people. Um, I do remember some of the questions I got where uh, people were asking, like, ask Tom about about values and. Um, yeah. and the blind contour thing, ask them to yeah, talk yeah. about that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, that's really, it's, it's, it's awesome, man. That's going to be really, really cool. Um, so if anybody's in those areas, you definitely got to check that out. Um, so, but I think we're about ready to wrap this up and, uh, Tom, it's, it's so cool to be alive and stinking yeah. cool to be alive yeah, talking to right. Tom Fluharty. Right. Um, so this has been <laughs> awesome, cool man. To be talking to Jason yeah. <laughs> it's so stinking cool, man. Um, <laughs> Uh, didn't you make that into a t-shirt? I thought I saw someone wearing a... I did, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I have a Sticking few, cool, yeah. be alive. Yeah. That was the idea. David yeah. O'Keefe was an amazing artist. He's one of my best friends. He goes, dude, you should put that on a t-shirt. You sell out. Yeah. I got like 30 of them made and I sold like 10. I was like, dude, I still got 20 left, man. You owe me. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, it's super yeah. cool. But I'm going to actually give things out in my workshops as well. So oh, I mean, it cool. doesn't matter if I have any overflow. But it's fine. <laughs> No, that's awesome. But yeah, anyways, thanks so much, man. This has been great. And um, so yeah, Big fan this first, is awesome. Man. We'll have to do it again because we could talk. For There's so many things we can go on and on about. Uh, so Absolutely. definitely would love to have you do this again some point. Um, and uh, yeah, that should be it, man. Well, thank you. And thank yeah. all the artists, man. Really, thank thank them. You know, thank you. Yeah, yeah of yeah. course. Yeah. All right, man. Well, let's, uh, let's wrap this up. And again, uh, Thank you so much, and thank you, everybody, for submitting uh, stuff. Awesome, dude. Yeah, thanks, man. All right. Thanks, guys. See you later.